friends welcome back to my channel so this is Pramod and this is another Comshare security plus real exam question series and this part is also very helpful to pass the Comshare security plus exam so let's go to the questions and this is a question and the question is which of the following enables the use of an input feed to run commands that can view or manipulate data option a cross site scripting option b side loading option c buffer overflow option d sql injection and the correct answer for this question is option d sql injection so let's check the explanation so the sql injection this is a type of attack that allows an attacker to execute malicious SQL statements to control a database. It involves using input fields to manipulate data and potentially view sensitive information. So that's why the correct answer is option D, SQL injection. So let's move to the next question. The next question is, a company is expanding its threat surface program and allowing individuals to security test the company's internet facing application. The company will compensate researchers based on the vulnerabilities discovered. So which of the following best describes the program the company is setting up? Option A, open source intelligence. Option B, bug boundary. Option C, red team. Option D, penetration testing. And correct answer for this question is option B, bug bounty. And the explanation is a bug bounty program is a system where a company publicly invites security researchers to find vulnerabilities in their systems and rewards them financially for reporting those vulnerabilities. The key features that aligns with the description in the questions are the open invitation to external researchers, the reward for discovered vulnerabilities and the focus on finding security weakness. So that's why the correct answer is option B, bug bounty. So let's move to the next question. The next question is employees in the research and development business unit receives extensive training to ensure they understand how to best protect company data. So which of the following is the type of data these employees are most likely to use in day to day work activities. Option A encrypted, option B intellectual property, option C critical, option D data in transit. And the correct answer for this question is option B intellectual property. So let's check the explanation. The research and development teams often work with sensitive information like new inventions, designs, formulas and research findings. So which all fall under the category of intellectual property IP. These teams need extensive training to protect this valuable information from unauthorized access or disclosure. And the correct, that's why the correct answer for this question is option B, intellectual property. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, which of the following threat actors is the most likely to use large financial resources to attack critical systems located in other countries. Option A insider, option B unskilled attacker, option C nation state, option D hacktivist. And the correct answer for this question is option C nation state. So let's check the explanation. So nation states have the resources and motivation to launch large scale sophisticated cyber attacks against critical infrastructure in other countries, often a geopolitical reasons. They often have access to advanced cyber weaponry and large budgets to support their operations. So that's why the correct answer for this question, option C, nation, state. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, a client asked a security company to provide a document outlining the project, the cost and the completion time frame. So which of the following documents should the company provide to the client? Option A, MSA, Option B, SLA, Option C, BPA, Option D, SOW. So correct answer for this question is Option D, SOW, a statement of work. So let's check the explanation. A statement of work is a document the company should provide to the client as it outlines the project details, cost and completion time frame. So statement of work, this document clearly defines the scope, objectives, deliverables, timeline and cost of project, ensuring both the client and the service provider are on the same page regarding expectations. 
So that's why the correct answer is D, SOW, a statement of work. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, a company has begun labeling all laptops with asset inventory stickers and associating them with employees' IDs. So which of the following security benefits do this action provide? So choose two options out of this. So first option is, if a security incident occurs on the device, the correct employee can be notified. The security team will be able to send user awareness tending to the appropriate device. Next option is users can be mapped to their devices when configuring software MFA tokens. Option D, user-based firewall policies can be correctly targeting the appropriate laptops. Option E, when conducting penetrating testing, the security team will be able to target the desired laptops. And the last options, company data can be accounted for when the employees leave the organization. So the correct answer for this question is option A and option F. Option A is if a security incident occurs on the device, the correct employees can be notified. And the option F is company data can be counted for when the employees leaves the organization. So let's check the explanation. So explanation is if a security incident occurs on the device, the correct employee can be notified by linking the laptop to the employee's ID, the security tent team can quickly identify the owner and contact them in case of security breach. And next option, company data can be accounted for when the employee leaves organization. So when an employee departs, the company can easily track down and secure all the data associated with their assigned laptop. So that's why the correct answer for this question is option A and option F. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is, a technician wants to improve the situational and environmental awareness of existing users as they transition from remote in-office work. Which of the following is the best option? Option A, send out periodically security reminders. Option B, update the content of new hire documentation. Option C, modify the content of recurring training. Option D, implement a phishing campaign. So let's check the exact answer for this question so answer is c modify the content of recurring training and the explanation is the recurring training allows for regular updates on security protocols potential threats and the best practices relevant to the shift from remote to office environments so this targeted approach ensures users are well informed about the changing dynamics of their work environment so that's why the correct answer is c modify the content of recurring training so let's move to the next question. Next question is a newly appointed board member with cybersecurity knowledge wants the board of directors to receive a quarterly report detailing the number of incidents that impacted the organization. The systems administrator is cheating. Sorry, the system administrator is creating a way to present the data to the board of directors. So which of the following should the systems administrator use? Option A, packet captures. Option B, vulnerability scans. Option C, metadata. Option D, dashboard. And the correct answer for this question is option D, dashboard. So let's check the explanation. So a dashboard is the best option to present cybersecurity incident data to a board of director as it provides a visually appealing and easily digestible summary of the number of incidents. The severity and potential trends over time making it ideal for high level reporting. So that's why the correct answer is T, dashboard. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, which of the following roles according to the shared responsibility model is responsible for securing the company's database in an infrastructure as a service model for a cloud environment? And the options are, first option is client, next option is third party vendor, Next option is cloud provider and the last option is DBA. And the correct answer for this question is option A, client. So let's check the explanation. So in a cloud environment, particularly in an infrastructure as a service model, the shared responsibility model dictates that the cloud provider secures the underlying infrastructure like the physical servers, network and virtualization layer. However, the client, the organization using the cloud services is responsible for securing their data 
applications and operating systems running on that infrastructure. So this includes a database as it is considered an application within the client's virtual environment. So that's why the correct answer for this question is option A, client. So let's move to the next question. Next question is a system administrator receives the following alert from a file integrity monitoring tool. The hash of the cmd.exe file has changed. The system administrator checks the OS logs and notice that no patches were applied in the last two months. So which of the following most likely occurred? Option A, the end user changed the file permissions. Option B, a cryptographic collision was detected. Option C, a snapshot of the file system was taken. And option D, a rootkit was deployed. And the correct answer for this question is option D, a rootkit was deployed. So let's check the explanation. A rootkit is a type of malware designed to hide its presence on a system by modifying critical files and processes, including system utilities like cmd.exe, changing the hash of cmd.exe without a corresponding patch being applied strongly indicates malicious activity by a rootkit. So that's why the correct answer for this question is option D, a rootkit was deployed. So I hope you are enjoying this video and this part has been successfully completed. So study hard, good luck and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more video like this. I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.